boxing scene here with middleweight contender Daniel Jacobs. How are things going? I can't complain. Everything is going pretty good at the moment. Uh, I'm excited about this weekend. I'm out here giving my support and working, so it's a bit different for me. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm looking forward to Saturday's fight. You mentioned you're going to be working, you're going to be doing commentary on the Showtime yes. broadcast tomorrow night. Have you done boxing commentary before? Uh, I've done it on, on one occasion before, um, on a smaller stage, but at the same time, uh, I got comfortable doing it. You know, I love doing it. I love to show my fans and my supporters a different side of me. You know, sometimes guys be like, you know, you was in the ring, you were only in it for about two, three rounds. We want to see more. So this is an opportunity for my fans to get to see a little bit more of me, my family, and everyone's just been showing so much support and they're very happy for me at this moment. And this is a big stage for me. This is a great opportunity. This is something that could possibly lead into another career for me down the line. And you also have a vested interest. You said that you are here to show your support, I'm guessing for Polly yes. for one, but also for Peter Quillen? For Peter Quillen, um, obviously, yeah. We're, we're, um, we're looking to get a title shot. Um, yeah. If, if uh, Peter Quillen gets the victory, you know, we can be set up or placed in the Barclays Center uh, this summer. So we'll see what happens. I do have an invested interest in that particular fight. Uh, so it's all up to him to win and get the victory. And if he does, then we'll see what happens after that. So you've got a prime location for scouting Peter Quillen. Well, I'll be working in scouting. <laughs> Does that then mean when you're doing commentary, if you notice weaknesses in his game, right. do you not mention them because you don't want him to know that you've seen them? Oh, no. You, I mean, uh, this is a different lane for me. So I want to strictly keep it professional. I don't want to put any of my ego or, you know, any personal feelings I have for the fight or anything, mm -hmm. even if I see anything. I just want to do my job, uh, announce the fight, give the fans a uh, uh, a boxer's perspective and do a great job you know I'm not looking to bash him in any way you know he's still a great guy I'm just looking to uh, pretty much see you know how he does and I'll be scouting at the same time but we'll see how long have you known Peter I've known Peter wow I've known him since the amateurs actually I've known him for about Maybe since 2006, 2005. And did you ever think you would be on this collision course to face him? Never. You know, when I was still an amateur when he first turned pro. And I remember seeing him, I was like, wow, this guy's strong. You know, he's a he's a New York guy. I didn't I really know too much about him, but over the years he started building a name for him. And then we started seeing each other at local shows and you know, it became cool every time we see each other we'll speak and you know have conversations. And now he's at this point now where he's a world champion, so he's been through a lot and he's um, overcome a lot. Is it difficult to be potentially fighting somebody that you're friendly with, or does that then go back to the amateur days when you were fighting a lot of people that you knew? Well, see, here's the thing. In boxing, you can't really befriend a lot of people. You know, you have to keep it strictly business. Um, my thing is um, my family is my priority, and they're my life. And in order for me to be where I want to be in my life, I have to become champion and fulfill my dreams. And he's standing in the way of that. So um, no one comes before my family, no friendship, no personal anything I have with anyone else. My family is my primary objective. Yes. What impresses you about Peter's game and what flaws do you see in it? Um, you know, I think uh, I think it's evident of the flaws that he has, being, especially being at this elite level. Um, it's very evident and my, my game plan will be a little bit different, but at the same time, uh, we'll, we'll look to see. He always fights different every time he's in that ring. You said his, his flaws are evident. Like, So what flaws do you say? Um, I would say defensively. Yeah. Defensively. I mean, he has power in both hands. And um, you know that's why he's been able to maintain champion for so long. Uh, but at the same time, I see a lot of flaws that I can't personally know because I want to be able to uh, capitalize off that opposed to giving the secret out. Well, it's not really a secret, but opposed to giving it out to someone else. Let's talk about what that title win uh, would mean for you. I mean, you look at the journey that you've had. So if you win this world title after everything you've been through, what is that moment going to be like? You know what? It'll just be... It would be a key moment in my life, in my career, um, to prove to myself that you know I'm the I'm I am the creator, I am the master of my own destiny. And if I set my goal to do something, no matter what obstacles are in front of me, you know I can accomplish it and do that. And I think that would that in itself, opposed to I mean that in itself, uh, not even cancer. You know, just everything that I've been through in my boxing career. You know, I've been through ups and downs, so for me to get to this point and, you know, have a title shot again and get the victory, that's that's unheard of. Anything else you want your fans to know? Um, that I continue to uh, thank you for all your support and I continue to do the things that I have to do to be a great champion. I mean, you know, I live this life. You know, I have the second opportunity I've been coming 
uh, a champion, and now I have this opportunity right at my cusp. So this is going to be something that I cherish for the rest of my life, this moment right now. Boxing scene here with Daniel Jacobs. Thank you very much.